There you go. Today we're going to look at factoring the sum of two cubes. The first part of it, we're going to just see the general basic definition of the factoring for the sum of two cubes, and then do an example. Here, I've written up an expression that's the sum of two terms. The first one is x cubed, and the second one, y cubed. When we factor that, we need to make sure that the product would have just the first term and the last term be there and the middle terms cancel out. That works if we have a binomial times a trinomial, where what goes in the binomial is what you see when you cover up the cubes. So that would be x plus y. And the trinomial, the three terms, in the first slot, it's the square of what's in the first term of the binomial. So that would be x squared here. Then to get the middle terms to cancel out, we need to change this sign. So since this is a plus, we'll write minus. Then the product of the two terms from the binomial, here we have xy. And the last term is plus the square of what's sitting in the last spot. So for an example, what if we were to factor x cubed plus 27? x cubed is a cube, and 27 is actually also a perfect cube. It comes from 3 cubed. So our first step will be to write x cubed plus 3 cubed. Now we'll set up our binomial times our trinomial. What goes in the binomial is what we see when we cover up the cubes, x plus 3. And what goes in the trinomial is the square of what's in the first term, so we'll have x squared. Change the sign, so this is plus, make that a minus. Multiply the two together, so that'll give you 3x. And then plus, for this last term, you square this last term. So 3 squared gives me a plus 9 at the end. And that's the correct factorization of x cubed plus 27.